Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Detective Stella Porter case for the Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4 and 5, and PC. The graphics in the game is good in the beginning, then it drops off towards the end, making the game look a tad bit bad in a way. In the first part of the game, you can see the reflections of the rain through the window. Then you can see how almost real the shower looks in the game as far as the tub and all that. The music in the game is sad in a way based off the fact that this game is really actually has that sadness to it when solving the cases. The HUD is simple to use and get through. The whole overall presentation is okay with nothing to brag about. Detective Stella Porter case is a simple crime walking simulator. You basically go from each case to solve to them by actually going to each crime scene to solve the case. In one case, you have to find out why the two kids died and you go through an apartment and then you go collect the evidence. You do that basically on each of the cases of just finding the evidence and just keying the pieces together. If you read books like I Spy and it's actually hard to find in them actual books. The game is just like that in a way. But when you go into like solving cases, it's just basically simple of just collecting things and collecting different types of evidence, going back to the crime room and just piecing the puzzles together. And that's just how simplified the game is. Let's be honest, this game is extremely short. You can beat this game within 25 minutes, which I'm kind of glad because this game is extremely boring. You really just have about four cases and you are basically just trying to find the evidence in each section, which I seen it was very easy to find and it was boring. I feel like this game is a walking crime simulator, which it basically is. There were texture pop-ins in the game, which kind of is not a good look if you are using the Unreal Engine to create this game. The biggest thing that I have a problem with the most within this game is the fact that you can't run and the gameplay is clunky. The gameplay is clunky to the point that the response to the buttons is extremely slow, which they need to work on. The game is okay, it's not to the point that you don't want to play this game anymore, it's just they need a few more months to actually fix this game and do it justice. The storytelling is also bad, whereas it's just you're solving cases and going to the next case and it does get dull after a while. For that, I give Detective Stella Porter a 3 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for independent gaming journalism and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and please subscribe to the channel.